Welcome to getting started with Akamai APIs using Postman. I am Mike Ellison, Developer Evangelist at Akamai Technologies, and today I will be guiding you through this short tutorial on how to get started with the Akamai APIs using Postman. Akamai offers a rich library of approximately 100 different APIs that allow you to manage your Akamai solutions. And Postman is a free and easy to use API client that you can download for Mac, Windows, or Linux, and I recommend visiting postman.com for instructions on downloading the client. Once you've installed the client and once you've created an Akamai API client, you should be able to start making your first API request. If you're looking for help on how to create an API client, please watch the video, Getting Started with Akamai APIs, Creating an API Client. For this tutorial, we will be using the API client and corresponding tokens that I created in that video. Let's navigate to Postman. Postman allows you to create API requests and store them in collections. My Postman workspace is currently empty, so let's start in the top left by creating a new request. We will give our request a unique name, getting started with Akamai, and create a collection called getting started. Now our request is able to be set up. First, we specify the HTTP method we want to use. Typically for Akamai APIs, you select either get or post. In our first example, we will use get. Next is the base URL to which we send requests, and you can find this in your API tokens. Important here is to use HTTPS in order to securely send the request. Any HTTP request will respond with a 400 error. Next, we have to specify the actual action we want to do. On developer.akamai.com slash API, you can find the entire API catalog, including each option per API. In our example, we will use the property manager API and retrieve a list of contract and contract ideas that we have available to us. As you can see, you can find this here. And the request that we need to execute is slash pappy slash v1 slash contracts. Let's run the request. As you can see, we get an error, and that is correct behavior. This is because we have not yet properly authenticated the request with Akamai Edge Grid. Otherwise, anyone in the world would be able to execute these actions, and we don't want that to happen for our customers. Postman allows us to easily inject the Akamai tokens under the authorization tab in the request. By selecting Akamai Edge Grid, you are then easily able to add your access token, your client token, and client secret. So we will add them right now and rerun the request. And there we go. We get the list of Akamai contracts returned. Now we know that our Akamai API client is working properly and requests can be made. With this, you can get started and you're able to now dive deeper, start making other requests, perhaps to different APIs to manage your Akamai solutions. Important to note here is that for post requests, you do have to specify headers such as content type and of course the body for your request. Please carefully inspect the API catalog for which parameters are required and which are optional. Outside of the scope of this tutorial, Postman does allow you to store data in variables to help reuse your tokens easier and more securely. I recommend reading more about this in Postman help sections or their online documentation. I hope this tutorial on getting started with Akamai APIs has been helpful for you and has given you the knowledge to start using the Akamai APIs. For more content, please visit developer.akamai.com where you can find more tutorials and information. If you have any questions on Akamai Developer, please feel free to reach out. You can find me on social media under the handle Akamai Mike. I want to thank you very much for your time today, and I hope to see you again in our other tutorials. Good luck and happy Akamizing!